PWM Spring Stampede continues with this exhibition bout, is what I would say if this was actually a fair game. Let's be frank, you've got an experienced world championship contender, Adam Envy. Oh god, Spring of Envy over there, yeah. Regardless of that, he is an experienced combatant that is going up against a newcomer. I mean, he has massive potential. Ricardo Pellegrino, the man from Italy himself, but at the same time, once he enters the ring, it's no man's land. Especially when he has to swim against the ocean filled with sharks known as Pro Wrestling Malta. No. No. You know, if you've been a PWM fan for a while, you should know that should not see what I mean. This should be basic wrestling knowledge 101. When you know somebody has the character quote unquote of uh, Adam Envy, never ever let yourself have any sort of belief, any sort of any sort of like naiveness. Alright? Just go there with one commitment, and that is to destroy, and that is to secure victory, whatever it takes, because he's gonna do the same. Carter Pellegrino bouncing back from the mistake he committed earlier by trusting somebody like NV, but oh! Listen man, that Italian blood is fuming. You do not want to, you know, push him that far, Envy. Envy knows how to play mind games. And he has done that with plenty of other combatants here in PWM, mostly Maldives, but this is the first time I believe he's ever fought one-on-one -on -one and Italian. With Ricardo Pellegrino self-proclaimed ladies man I mean that's one way to look at it but ladies love winners Ricardo and you gotta put in the work and you gotta score some points here and then yeah, the man he has to get plenty of points he's not in the women of course but at the same time you know I don't think he's in it for that he's in it for the gold he's in it for the glory and he's in it for one thing and that is to make himself immortal he might do that here today if he continues to climb the ladder here of Pro Wrestling Malta, which he has done tremendously ever since debuting here in Pro Wrestling Malta. Mind you, he's only been here for three years. And he's already been seen as the top dog, one of the top dogs at least, and well, he's not a bow like one or bark like one, but he's definitely gonna bite like one. He's gonna bite like a hyena, I believe. Ricardo, though, he's no slouch either, with a son to flip into a pin. And that now into an Oklahoma roll and he hooks both legs ah but Ricardo he should have placed him a bit further in the middle of the ring cause that was a rope and he didn't kick out and speaking of another pinfall here comes the bridge One. this time it was in the middle of the ring but he wasn't strong enough to hold him down for all three falls and however who knows, maybe he's stronger, maybe he's uh, not that much in comparison to Ricardo when it comes to strength, but we all know that he's more experienced. And that's what I'm talking about right there. He used the referee's blind spot to take the opportunity and rake the eyes of his opponent, and now he's just gonna capitalize on an opening that he created by stomping a mud hole on poor Ricardo. What about a close line? Sending Ricardo back first in the middle of the ring. This is Adam Envy's, you know, preferred pace. Slow, methodical, and of course, adding on top of that, the mind games. Antagonizing the opponent until not just his body gives up, but also his mind. And now, using the full count of the official, placing the boot on top of Ricardo's face. He would call it a sin, Ricardo, because, you know, his gorgeous face and all quote unquote. But Adam Envy couldn't care less. Adam Envy, stay a gorgeous, that was a gorgeous call. Oh! That was not gorgeous. That wasn't a... That's a wake-up call for Ricardo to realize where he's at right now. I don't know what is. Ricardo, oh man, he's giving right now. I think he might have turned that Italian Chihuahua into a fuming Buck Spencer. Or maybe not. Close line, and once again. That's true. Point at two, that means he hit him with two massive close lines, I believe. He didn't count, Envy. Don't worry about it. Ricardo should be the one worrying right now. If he knows where he's at after those two massive close lines. Man, that sounded like an 80s action movie punch sound effect. 
Kaido absorbing the energy of the fans. The applause. Will he be able to get? He did get out actually. Oh, but he quickly got taken down from a rebound into the elbow strike from the again. A veteran in comparison to the rookie. And a snap suplex. Oh no. Ah, oh, he's going for that triple up. Worldwide, it's known as the Queen of Amigos. But Adam Henry doesn't have any friends. Actually, I stand corrected. He does have three best friends. Me, myself, and I. At least, that's all Ricardo believes he needs in this world. And as long as he has the skill to back that up with, he has proven time and time again that he does have, in fact. And he'll become a success no matter what. And it's because he utilizes the absolute peak of what the official wrestling book will allow. Speaking of peak right now, that feet landing at the peak of Ricardo's head. Nearly scraping away his entire jawline. Speaking of jaw. Ricardo's jaw being squeezed in, followed up with that sleeper hold. Like a, a combination of a sleeper hold and a chill lock on the ground. And this is actually particularly way better for Envy to be in that seated position because he can control the weight, but Ricardo trying to get back up. Oh, boy, well, you see, that's exactly what I pointed to out earlier. In that position, Envy has a complete control. He can cinch him back, Ricardo, to the ground with little less effort if he were standing up. Envy will stand back up and rotate his body, which he does successfully now. God, okay. Ricardo showing heart. A bit of tenacity from the young up and cover. Close line. Oh, he's not going for the close line. He ducks underneath. And a shoulder tackle by Ricardo. And now Pellegrino. Showing a bit of offense. Irish whip into a hip toss. Mamma mia. And a scoop slam in the middle of the ring. And Ricardo hooked the leg. Doesn't get a two count just yet. This is why Ricardo needs to do more effort. Yes, it's just one Ricardo because you haven't done that much damage to Adam Envy at least yet. This has been Envy's match for the most part. And this could change right now because Ricardo is the one and driver's here at the moment as he picks up. Oh, no, not to be. That's what I'm talking about. Was Adam Envy. He sinks it in. He's going for the rotating disc spin. Wait. No! That music could only mean one thing! And I believe it's the Reaper coming to call out his death! And the man beat cost Jack Quinn the championship! And now I believe Jack Quinn wants to cost that man for his dignity! Wherever he's at. Quinn, Quinn the job! Ricardo! Run from the high bro! What? Ricardo Pellegrino secures his first BWM win against the top contender. And oh, Adam Envy. Adam Envy assaulting the victor. That was a taste of your medicine, Envy. And of course you don't like it right now when you're the one being preyed upon. Ricardo is not leaving here looking like the victor whatsoever. The official actually had to step in and actually break apart this entire bout. I don't know if... Oh come on, what? No! Somebody stop this for God's sakes! It's a Menvy! He's assaulting an official and nobody's doing a damn thing about it! Oh, you can ring the bell all you want, buddy! And Jack Quinn! Jack Quinn! Finally, the magician appears right in the nick of time he was about to... I don't even want to imagine what he was about to do to that poor official if he continued to do what he was doing. Finally, some sort of humanity being presented in the middle of the ring right now as Jack Quinn. Checking on the official. Quinn, the former world champion. I don't think he's come here just for the sake of the official, but he's also here to 
confront the one that cost him the title. Ever since I became champion, you've been there in the background. It's not in the background anymore, let's see. And you, a coward, you beat up referees. Is that, is that your thing now? Apparently it is. A good idea too. I you love that. To join me against he really wants to get his hands on Adamanvi, even willing to reduce his 50% chance of winning into a 3.3 chance of winning. Yes, yes, yes. And the crowd wants that. You know what? I want to see Adamanvi get his ass whooped too. And you know, he's celebrating at the opportunity for the World Championship. He's gonna agree, of course. Of course, he's gonna agree. The challenge is laid out for you. Show me you got the balls, Envy. Yeah. I don't think it's all about testicles, Jack. I think it's about greed. It's like you're presenting Jafar, the GD lab in front of him. This is what Adam Envy has been chasing. One hell of a bait to place in front of Adam Andrew right now. And look at that! He's got sucker did! Oh, but Jack Quinn, oh, Jack Quinn. He's ready for anything when it comes to Adam Andrew right now. He's been bitten by the snake way too many times right now. Is he immune now? Will he be able to not only beat Adam Andrew, but also Red Scorpion in the main event here in PWM Spring Stampede? 